I, here I am, got to do two things today, got to head to the grocery store and get something to eat. I'm going to get something to eat first, uh, then I head to the grocery store. I'm going to uh, Caruja, which is kind of like the uh, Columbia version of Whole Food. There's a couple items I need from there uh, that I can't get it from a regular grocery store. So I'm going to go there and get it. And then uh, we'll see what else out there. So come with me. Let's give you a little vibe of the street here. This is got it is 13. I already shared some of it. Not enough, I guess. I just came from. Uh, I'm actually headed to the grocery store, Caruja grocery store. Uh, again, it's kind of supposed to be kind of the uh, whole food of a, uh, well, at least that's what I heard. A uh, similar to Whole Foods in as far as prices and for its uh, uh, specialty type food. So, again, I need a couple items. So, I'm going to try to take a quick tour, try to sneak as many pictures as I can out of there. Uh, this one, can't think of the name of the street right here, but I make sure I put it in the comments below so you know exactly what it is. That's an Exito right there. Exito. So, right. hey, it's Caruja. I think this is the other day where they was having uh, giving vac vaccine for the, uh, you know, giving vaccines. We don't need to mention why, but this is the store right here, I think. Yeah, the rules I can't see it on the outside. It's a body tech, which is a gym right across from the street from it. So let's see if we can uh, go inside. You know, actually, uh, when I went in the store, actually, I just, the first thing I noticed how small it is. I don't know, I, I don't know if, if, if uh, Columbia or Bogota has large grocery store, but Caruja is actually a, a popular store, especially in this area. As I was walking around, I noticed quite a few of them. So Caruja is definitely a more of a common, popular store, as well as Exito. 
Now, I haven't been in a Zito grocery store, but I'm assuming it's similar to what I've seen before in Medellin. So, um, walking around the store, I do n notice, or I did notice how many foreign products, you know, at least American products that I, that I, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of American products. Uh, so maybe that's kind of their specialty, having a lot of foreign products, you know, as well as local. But, you know, lo when I go into, like, the store that I go into, ARA, which is A-R-A, uh, I rarely see any American or foreign products. Everything seems to be either local or products from places that I've never heard of. I mean, you know what I mean? So I I'm assuming they're more local products. But where it's here, they I see a lot of American products or products that I see in America in the United States so um, maybe that's their specialty so if you're trying to look for something that you used to and you visit for the first time definitely check out Karuja. Uh they seem to have all the kind of products that I'm used to in the States uh, prices um, I guess they're kind of on par um, with what you get in the States you know keep in mind this is import so if it's higher then that's to be expected you know what I mean but I didn't think they were that much much higher than what I've seen in the States you know now when I went in the store I was thinking it was kind of a equivalent based on what I've heard I thought it was equivalent to like a, a whole food or something I mean um, it's definitely not whole food or even some of the stores like I'm you know living in the Washington DC area that's you know, there's a store that's similar called Mom's, which is definitely organic, vegetarian, vegan type store. So, this is definitely not one of those. I mean, in fact, I they don't really carry a lot of vegan, uh, vegetarian products. Uh, I came here looking specifically for vegan mayonnaise. I love vegan mayonnaise. And for some odd reason, again, based on what I told, or at least what I thought, it was a uh, similar type store that sold uh, that type of stuff, in addition to regular stuff that you get from the States. But no, I mean, even when I asked a couple people <laughs> about certain products, it's almost like, oh no, they, but as soon as I mentioned the word vegano, which is vegan, uh, it's like, no, we don't carry that type of stuff. So, I mean, they do carry some vegetarian items, but again, I put this store pretty much on par with, again, I lived in the Washington, D.C. area, so if you're familiar with Washington, D.C., Safeway, which is kind of a national store, and a Giant, which is kind of a local store for the Washington, D.C. area. So I put it on that level, uh, having the same type products. Again, a much smaller footprint. It's a definitely small store. Uh, and again, from what I've seen just walking around and seeing other cruisers, they all seem to come either this size or smaller. I don't know if they come in large grocery store. I mean, it's not a really small store, but it's definitely a small type store. So, uh, but again, as you can see, they, they have the Kellogg's, cornflakes, you know, the stuff that we're used to in the States. So again, if you come here, <laughs> ask to go to Karuja, you know, you're always going to find most of what you need in the States. You know what I mean? Obviously, I wasn't looking for anything specific other than, like I said, the vegan mayonnaise and anything else I picked up. I just picked up while I was there. Uh, uh, you know, I picked up pepper. I mean, it's funny. I probably could have gotten pepper at another store, but uh, uh, I didn't feel like grounding it. You know, so uh, just had regular pepper. So I just, you know, black pepper. That's what I'm talking about, black pepper. So, um Again, it's, it's a nice store, very clean, well-maintained, um, clean. Again, again, I, I didn't really see a lot of organic products. So if you come in here looking for a, organic sections, I didn't see a lot of that in the store. I mean, again, everything looked good and fresh, but it wasn't a lot of organic products, especially fruits and vegetables. You know, maybe it is already considered organic because it's from the area. I don't know. Now, I was actually, when I went to the bread department, I was looking for bagels. I thought these were kind of bagels, but I, I don't think they were. So, bagels, for what, I'm, for what I'm seeing in other stores, is not a big thing in Colombia. Uh, so, had a really nice, you know, fruits, you know, uh, fruits and vegetable department. Again, clean, uh, well-maintained, looked really fresh. So, you know, 
You know, I, right here I was looking for some blueberry. This is about the biggest container I've seen. It, you know, but you know, again, blueberry just seemed to be expensive no matter where you go. I had that problem in Quito. I mean, in Mexico City, I had that problem. You know, for some reason, blueberry is just expensive, and you only get a few no matter where you are. And again, maybe it's a seasonal thing because maybe uh, I just noticed even in the states, you know, when you buy blueberries, that certain times of the year you may a big may get a certain large container, and then other parts of the year, or most of the parts of the year, it's very small for more price. So maybe blueberry is so seasonal that affect no matter affects your buying habits no matter where you are. You know what I mean? So uh, meats department, like if you're into a lot of meats, you know, there's plenty of meat in this area. So fresh meat, butcher. I mean, this place used to have like a little restaurant in the back, kind of in the corner right there. I, I don't know if I've yeah, right back up in there behind to the right. It's a nice little restaurant they have, you know, just like any place they have, whatever they go serve for that day. And I, I assume they have Wi-Fi there because I see people on their laptops in the corner. I don't know if it's free Wi-Fi, but it's definitely an area where you can eat and actually work. Uh, I, they say alcohol, beer, you know, just, well, not alcohol. I didn't see alcohol. I did see beer. Uh, I don't know if they sell alcohol there so but definitely have plenty of beer uh you know orange juice you name it cleaning products i mean it's just i mean it's a regular grocery store it's a nice grocery store like again if you're in the shopping area area you got plenty to choose from so just go to uh, Karuja. I don't know what store has more at Sito or Karuja. I think Karuja probably will carry more uh, of more American product versus at Sito. Uh, or more foreign products. You know what I mean? I think at Sito probably is bigger and probably the most, you know, largest in, 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 um, in Colombia, period. But um, I think Karuja may actually carry more uh, American style products. So... And I check out the same, you know what I mean? Nothing, you know, different from what I've seen before. Not a big thing, so, you know. similarity it had to uh, Whole Foods was the uh, the prices it was definitely a high but but I guess the grand scheme of thing it wasn't too high I mean 83 mil uh, I don't know what that is right now I have to kind of figure it out later but but maybe 20 some dollars so I guess you know shopping you never walk out of Whole Foods paying less than 40 50 dollars for a few items so maybe it is cheaper but it didn't have a lot of things in there which surprised me so I don't think I'll come back you know uh, anyway uh, yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here thank you for watching uh, thank you for coming with me to the grocery store I will definitely see you on the next one